hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you are new here you are highly welcome thank you so much to all my returning subscribers please if you have not subscribed please and um, please do that after watching this video so we are back on your tv screen again with my special guest please introduce yourself i'm eden odebode and i'm here again hi why are you doing like that Anyway guys, today we are discussing something juicy and educative at the same time. So Edie, what are you talking about today? Well, we are talking about questions children are afraid of asking their parents. Yes, I don't know if you've seen any video like that, but the truth is that there are questions that children cannot even, some cannot even dare ask their parents. And today we want to discuss those questions with you. So Edie, what's the first one on your mind? Results. 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 When a child finally sees the results and is scared about, like, they expect such a low grade, right? And is scared about what the brain interactions will be. And that may really, really draw children from their parents. Relationship will be getting so low. Yeah, I think I understand. So maybe that we, we can say is not really like a question. It's something that children are afraid to discuss or tell their parents. Yes, when you get a bad grade, it's very, very. It's, you, are, if you find it hard. Even at that moment, you don't even, even want to eat. You don't want to play. Your mind is just everywhere. It's like because you don't even want to be around your parents because you're like. They can act for my result at any moment. So I think it's something that children are a little bit or really, really afraid to discuss. And because the reason why they are afraid because they are afraid to bring their failures before their parents too. And I think sometimes two parents should tell their children their struggles so that when they are struggling with something in school, they are able to tell them so that they will like know what to do at the right time. So what's the next point? Well, well, well. This is well, 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 well. <laughs> Our next point is cake. Okay. Yeah, crush. Crush. Oh my goodness. It is first of all. Do you have any crush? At the moment, no. At the moment, you are fixing. You are fixing your eyes on your book and Jesus. Yes, eating is really correct. Like the, those questions are, or those things are things that you can't really tell your parents or even ask them about someone. You know, I remember a friend telling me that she can see a guy, she and her mom can be walking on the road and she can see a guy and say, oh mommy, I think that guy is cute. Our African mothers, for me personally, I find it very hard like, to even tell my parents, my mom, who I like. I remember there was a Sunday, someone was trying to greet me and I think the person wanted to give me the hug and because she was there, my mom was like, Please don't initiate any hug because I'm not hugging anybody yet before they're looking at me, and that's me at this age. So, parents, children are afraid to tell their parents they have crushes, and these are things they themselves dealt with. But they pretend that they never liked a boy, they never liked a girl in their lives. So, what's like the negative effect on that? When you can't tell your parents about crushes, what do they do? Like, it leads to destruction of lives. How does it destroy them? <laughs> Honestly, the girl will become pregnant and that will be to drop out. To what? To the girl dropping out of school. So, yeah. So the thing is that if a girl sees a guy and she's like, oh mom, I like that guy. If the if if she could discuss that with her mom, the mother is able to guide her more quickly. Telling her that it's not yet time. All those feelings are normal. You are now 13. There are some hormones in your body that begin to make you have feelings for the opposite sex. But when you can't even discuss it, at the end of the day, you're not going to be doing what you should not do. God forbid if the child now comes um, comes in contact with someone that is a bad person, that person will now be friends. And so those are some questions. So parents, please stay open. Let your children be able to tell you, I have crushes soon. Having a crush is not bad. bad. It's how the crush is handled. I remember there was a topic uh, in Open Heavens, crush that crush. Like, it's not bad for you to have crushes, but how do you handle the crush? Because crush, crush sometimes doesn't even last for so 
long. Exactly. Okay, so I think for me growing up, one other thing too that one question that you're afraid to ask your parents is their age. And after growing up, like I'm like, what is the big deal? And you know that sometimes when a child comes and say, and just how old are you? I'm like, should I actually tell you my age? Like, why do you want to know my age? And there's really nothing wrong with it. Not eh? I've not told you. <laughs> Oh my god, confession that she like I'm not told her. And I think there's nothing wrong with um children knowing your age because it just creates intimacy and trust and she says something that it can even make them have respect. More respect. More respect for you. So I think those are the few questions that um children are a little bit afraid. And I think there's one more I will ask is question is this word why? Our African parents don't like hearing that word. Why? Can you go and watch? They don't even say can. Most times, thank God we're not getting, like, the way they relate to us is not different. They, they ask for your opinion. Can you help me wash the car? Can you help me wash plate? It's before you like, go and do that. If you're like, wash why? Why? Uh, am I your man? Poof! <laughs> am I your man? Why are you sending me? Why are you asking me that kind of questions? And the why word is a very very important because when you actually ask the when you use the word why you get more information maybe a better way to do that thing. so I think parents should not see these things as so so difficult and one thing this thing does when you can ask your parents a lot of things that she was saying is that it creates distance there are things you are going through you are so afraid all right guys thank you so much for watching this video Bye. we'll do a part two watch out for part two catch you later bye